they kind of curl down and I don't have the wrist strength to even hold my wrists out straight. So. His muscle strength is weak in his hands, his legs too, forcing the Lake Country man to wear these braces. Yeah. They're just an insole, they slide in, in my shoe. Ross Whiteman suffers from Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare condition affecting the nervous system. I had paralysis from the waist down and full facial paralysis as well. He was diagnosed with a daze after receiving his first shot of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine last spring and spent 67 days in hospital. Now the federal government has validated his vaccine-related injury with a successful claim for compensation, making him among the first in Canada to be approved for the benefit. I'd rather not be in that club in a heartbeat. It's, it's nice to have some recognition and there's vindication. The vaccine injury support program was established more than a year ago to offer financial support for people like white men. The vaccine injury support program website has not been updated recently by the federal government, but it does show the number of claims submitted and approved in the first six months of the program. Between June 1st, 2021 and November 30th, there were 400 claims submitted. Less than five of those were approved by a medical review board. It's indicative of our persistence with the program and, you know, every week or every two weeks, phoning, emailing, what's happening, do you have all the paperwork you need? While Whiteman won't go into details as to how much he's receiving, he said the maximum lump sum payout is $284,000, an amount he did not qualify for. He's also eligible for $90,000 a year for loss of income. And while the former realtor is relieved to be getting compensation, it's less than the amount he was making before the injury. Everyone has a, a lifestyle that they're used to or have budget towards, you know, especially with kids and whatnot, and, and so that's going to be something that we're going to have to kind of figure out where to go from there. Whiteman doesn't know if and when he will work again. For now, he's focusing on his recovery, going to rehab twice a week and celebrating the small victories. I'm grateful to have some mobility.